I'm uh, here to talk about two things that I'm just really passionate about today. And uh, the first of those is compelling content. I'm really passionate about content and how content can help you achieve what you want to achieve. Um, the phrase content is king, hence uh, the picture of Elvis. It's nothing new. That was in the 50s by this fella called Sumner Redstone. Uh, but I guess what's different now is that we have the ability to deliver content, compelling content to our audiences and to the people we want to talk to through the brilliant channels which we can all use. What I want to talk about is that you might have the best content in the world, but if you don't make that content famous, if you don't get it out there and reach the people that you're going to reach, then it's, it's really not going to do anything for you in terms of making the actions that you, you need, need to make the campaign a success. Um, so this is just a little formula and we found that when we're working on digital marketing uh, campaigns and, and it, it just kind of works, if you're clear about what you want to achieve, if you've got some compelling content, if you get out there and make it famous and you've got measures in place, you know, you can see whether you've got some winning digital campaigns. And um, I'd like to just talk you through um, a campaign which we worked on with a, a charity called Escos who looked to recruit school governors. And then um, in terms of like school governors, we, we had insight that people aren't aware of, of what the role of a school governor is or how important that role is and that they're the people who are responsible for appointing a head teacher. They're the people who make the decisions on investing for the school and stuff. And there's a there was a real shortage of school governors and, and this campaign hopefully helped them do something about it. So we started by coming up with a piece of compelling, hopefully, well, we came up with a piece of content, see what you think of it, uh, where we actually got children to play roles and pose questions. It's an interactive video to the user to get them to show the sort of things that school governors have to do. The council wants to buy 85% of our school fields. If we sell, we will not be able to play outdoor sport on the field. And we will have to walk 20 minutes to the local leisure centre. But it will give us the money to improve our IT facilities. What would you do? And it's, um, I mean, it was, you know, a really lovely little piece of content to work on um, in terms of it didn't cost us loads of money to do it. It was with a, a platform called Rap Media, a video, interactive video platform that works across mobile, tablet, desktop, etc. And it got a good reception, you know, without us really pushing it, it got a good reception on things like Twitter and, and in the industry press. It got a really good reception, which, which is important. But, you know... What was really interesting about the campaign and one of the learnings for us was that what really made it famous and what really made it work was when it, it crossed over into a news story and, and the BBC started writing about it um, and it went onto the website and you know because we could see where people were coming from we know how many people came through from this article and, and went on to apply to become a governor and, and things like that and it, you know it really worked but then it started the news story angle which was this survey about people not knowing what what governors do, um, and also the shortage started to make it more onto uh, traditional radio channels, but the breakfast shows of each of those channels have got a combined audience of, I guess, around 20 million, and that just that noise that was created as a result, you started to see the Google searches and the different search engines powering traffic through to the site, which meant that, you know, it was just reaching far more people. And then partnerships, this is a uh, best side I could come up with, partnerships. Um, they're really good partnership, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, that was all I could come up with. But yeah, the ESCOS worked really hard to go into companies, into councils, into everyone they could who was involved in school governors and said, please, come on, look at this content. If you like this content, push it out. Push it out on the same day that we go live with this story where we're going to do the PR. And as a result, we could see, again, the traffic coming in from the partners and building and building, and you could see the applications coming in to become a school governor. But... Again, it was that graft of really working to get it out there. And then, you know, we use things like Thunderclap as well. And, and for those that aren't familiar with Thunderclap, you can donate a tweet or you can donate a Facebook post. And all at one time, it goes boom, and it all goes thunder clapping out. And uh, it can lead to some actions. And, and we found that, you know, lots of people donated tweets, lots of people donated Facebook posts. And it was that combination of the, the online and the offline going boom, which, which hopefully uh, led to the the results of the campaign and you know we didn't actually use Google Grants on this one but Google Grants can be a, a great way as well for getting the word out there. Um, so in terms of the results you know did it work? 
Um, the target that they had was based on you know, previous campaigns and stuff, and you know, the applications that came in. It's just brilliant when you see a piece of content that really works and gets a good reaction and, and, and makes a difference in terms of the, the number of school governors that are out there. And, uh, and that worked you know, from, them, from a, a financial point of view as well. Um, it really worked nicely. And um, so, yeah, that's just our, our little formula for, uh, for getting stuff out there. And, uh, yeah, thanks very much for your time. <laughs>